So carbon offsetting is all about funding solutions to climate change, which is so important, especially now we're seeing lots of organisations, um, local authorities and countries declaring a climate change emergency. So how does it work? So typically companies and individuals are calculating their carbon emissions first to work out where most of their carbon emissions are come from and also to understand the size of their carbon footprint. And once they do that, they can then start thinking about how to reduce their emissions and also how to offset those emissions that they've already caused. And then... Some organisations are setting carbon neutral and net zero targets into the future because they want to focus on reducing their carbon emissions first. The reason this is wrong and not quite the right approach is that it doesn't account for the emissions that they're already producing. So if they have a five year target to get to net zero, it means they've got five years of carbon emissions that although they may have reduced it a little bit each year, they're still out there and they haven't managed to do anything to balance them out and offset. So offsetting allows companies and individuals to do that straight away by funding projects around the world that contribute to the solutions of climate change. So the solutions that we need to be addressing are things like decarbonising energy grids. So putting more renewable energy onto the, onto the energy grids. It needs to be about stopping deforestation. It needs to be decarbonising transportation. So lots of effort going in at the moment onto low carbon vehicles, electric vehicles, and as the electricity grids become greener, the carbon emissions of those vehicles will go down. Um, we need to be planting more trees to take out carbon dioxide that's already in the atmosphere and sequester it and lock it away. So why do we need to focus on this now? Well, climate change is such a big issue and we're seeing it happen all the time. Even in, here we are in the UK, very recently we've seen massive flooding, uh, certainly in the north of England, in the, in the Doncaster area and other parts of the UK. We've seen at the same time in Venice, flooding there, very recently in the Rugby World Cup, we saw the typhoons hitting Japan. And these are things that are happening all the time. So the goal is to stop those carbon emissions creeping up. We need to do that by funding the projects around the world that are the solutions, the ones that decarbonize the energy grids, the ones that are helping to decarbonize the transportation, the ones that are stopping deforestation, which contributes about 10% of global carbon emissions. And it needs to be on a global level One thing that we often get asked is about the quality of the projects. How do we know that they're happening? How do we know that they're achieving the carbon reductions that they're meant to be achieving and that we we're saying they're achieving? So the great thing is over the last 10 years, the whole carbon offsetting industry has really, really advanced. There are some really good standards out there now that audit and verify the projects right at the start of the project before they even start producing carbon savings. And then they're also monitor and verify the projects on an annual basis typically to look at how much carbon they've saved over the previous year. And the standards that we think you should be looking out for as being the best on the market, the, the most rigorous, are things like the Verified Carbon Standard by Vera. There's a Gold Standard Foundation who have Gold Standard VERs and gold standard CERs. VERs are verified emission reductions and CERs are certified emission reductions. Um, and then there's also the clean development mechanism which was set up by the United Nations. So these are the, these are the types of standards to look out for. There are other standards out there, but we focus purely on those three because we think they are the best. They want the one. We as a company, Carbon Footprint Limited, we're, we're actually part of something called the Quality Assurance Standard, which verifies the work that we do and audits the work that we do on an annual basis. And it has a 40 point check, check system. It is all about now recognizing that we're all causing a climate impact. We're all responsible for this climate change by buying and purchasing and doing what we do and carbon offsetting allows us to recognise that we are funding 
the problem, but it allows us to then start funding the solutions to climate change. First, like a lot of pressure groups will be saying reduce first, but what tends to happen there is it delays action and real action to get into the solutions of climate change, which is funding more renewable energy. All these things need to happen, it needs funding. Part of it will come from carbon offsetting, part of it will come at a government level, but let's get some funding into these projects to make them happen. Sense. But if you need any more help, you know, feel free to contact us at Carbon Footprint. Um, we're more than happy to help you out. You can go to our website as well and do a carbon footprint calculation yourself. You can see the types of carbon offset projects that we have. And there's also some solutions and ideas on how to reduce your carbon emissions there as well.